subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update hello friends so this is our second part of vSphere high availability so in this video we are going to create a ha enabled cluster so basically we create a clusters then enable the high availability on that cluster as our esxi host inside that cluster so this is my vCenter server in this in this vCenter i have two esxi hosts and some virtual machines are running on this ESX, on the vSxi host so first of all i am going to create a a backup management network on my esxi host so i will add esxi1 and esxi2 to our cluster so we have a default <coughs> management network okay and we create a another management network for for as a, as a backup so if our primary network management network goes down so using our secondary management network our um, clusters member can communicate with each other so i'm going to create a uh, let me select my esxi host so go to networking and here we need to create some vm kernel adapter so by default i have a single management network i am going to create another one on esxi so i am selecting add, ne add networking and we will choose vm kernel adapter next then i am creating this vm kernel adapter on my standard switch so you can create on standard switch or on a distributed port group so i am selecting the standard switch next then you need to define the name of your vm kernel adapter so this will be alternative management network and i will ch check this the management next we will provide the ip address so i will provide the static ip address on this network interface similarly we create the a network on the esxi2 <clears throat> so this is our prerequisites you must have at least two management net it's not ne necessary but it's recommended so we created two management networks now our virtual machines that we want to protect for uh, using the ha they must be on a common shared data store so my all these virtual machines in in a data store in a shared data store that are accessible by, accessible by both esxi hosts so this is my shared ds1 and my all virtual machines are running on this data store <coughs> okay now we will create a cluster so first of all i will click on, uh, right click on the vcenter center uh, on our data center and create a new cluster we pro we provide the name of our cluster so our cluster name let's suppose our cluster name is sa clusters cluster 1 okay then what do you want to enable i want to enable the ha so we'll choose at you can uh, enable these features later sony cluster you can enable the drs ha and vshan so at this time we are going to create a cluster with vsphere ha okay so i am i'm just going to enable the ha feature only okay other options you can modify later so it will take few seconds okay our cluster is ready so here is our cluster you can check here is our cluster you can find the summary of our cluster so 
slowly there is there is no workload there is no resource inside this cluster so we will add the host in the on, in this cluster okay so there is no no resources okay there is no resources no processor no machine to migrate so we will add the host in in this cluster so you have two options if you have some disconnected host if you have any host that is not the uh, not is in your v center so you can simply add right click and add host but if you you already added your host in your in your data center inside the v center then you need to move your host in into the cluster okay so i have already added my esxi1 and esxi2 to the data center so now i need to move these esxi host in the cluster okay if you if you do, didn't uh, add your host in your v center then you need to add the host on your cluster by this option okay so i'm just going to move my host so simply you can choose move to or you can drag and drop so first of all i'm going to move this is exact to so i'm just drag and drop click and drag and drop so look there our is exact to is adding on the cluster one so configuring the vsphere actually similarly we add our second another host so is exact host in this cluster So look there the election process is happening there okay so our both is exact host now inside this cluster now if you check the settings of this cluster you can find there is total four processor zero machines to migrate the cpu resources memory storage and you can find the more settings a little bit down which here actually so you can find the 50% resources are reserved for failover and 50% cpu and memory reserved for the failover protected as is disabled host monitoring is enabled and vm monitoring is by default disabled if you check the setting of this cluster right click and edit setting so here and select this vsphere availability and here you can find your h settings look the let me go to the edit option and here if your host will be fail then it will restart your vms to the another host if your host will be isolate then it will do nothing in our previous video i said you in the host isolation situation the by default the cluster vsphere uh, ha cluster did not do anything and in the pdl and apd situation data loss accessibility uh, data store accessibility failure it will power off for restart the vm if any other host are still accessible that data store then it will restart the vm on that host otherwise it will power off and by default guest vm failure guest os failure and application failure detections and protection is disabled you can enable it by monitor allow to vm monitoring or vm and application monitoring so i'm just leaving as default and if you check there so some resources the 50% resources of my clusters are reserved for failover okay so i can utilize only 50% resources and there is heartbeat so by default you use the, it will use these data stores for data store heartbeat purpose okay you can choose like that okay so these are few options in our ha clusters now let's check which one is the master host of this cluster so i'm just selecting this cluster go to the monitoring and here go to the ha summary so look there yes exi2 is the master of this cluster and one is subordinate host in this cluster so one host is connected to this master and there is total three protected vms only power on vms will be the protected if you power on some other vm then will also be protected vm okay so in this case 
these three vms are protected vm this is powered off so it will be in unprotected mode okay so when you power off this virtual machine it will automatically add to the protected virtual machine so basically we shall enter check which machine is going to power on then it will provide the list of uh, power on virtual machines to the master host and master host distribute those virtual machines powered on virtual machines list to the other member of the host okay <coughs> you can check the heartbeat configuration issues okay so these data stores are used for the heartbeat purpose their configuration issues so there is no configuration issues okay now let's test this cluster so what i'm going to do i'm going to down my asx7 okay so let's say which machine is running on the asx7 so windows 73 is running on asx7 so when i powered off or i suspend at the back end basically i am simulating as a failure environment so when asx7 goes fail after few time this windows 73 machine automatically start on the asx7 so look there at this time this is on asx7 now i am going to fail my asx7 So if a success one is stop to respond for the heartbeats, then after a, a, a number of uh, missing heartbeats, the cluster will, the sorry master host will declare this host is now down down. So if you look there, the cluster is in degraded state. So basically there is a single host server, and a success one, a power state was changed. So as a cluster status was changed. Okay. and which for as a failure is in progress so now the windows 73 will be restart on the asx2 so let's check about the vm status so look it's saying windows 101 is disconnected and 73 is now running on the asx2 and if you check this machine it's going to power on so like that when uh, a success host goes down the running machine on that a success host will be powered on so you can say it, it will be re reboot on the another a success host so your running time data will be lost but that machine will be come back within few minutes or few seconds so look that this machine is going to power on automatically without any user interaction okay so this is basic ac clusters so in coming videos we will, uh, we will discuss about the admission controls and other features of ac cluster so thank you so much for watching this video like this video and subscribe this channel for more updates if you have any query if you want to ask something write your queries in the comment box again Thank you so much